Question 12. Leah left home at 11 a.m. and drove to a shopping center. On her way, she stopped at a friend's house. And as far as the graph's concerned, this is the period where she was stopping at a friend's house. Um, and this in general, the whole thing is a distance time graph. Question 1. For how many minutes did Leah stay at her friend's house? Well, she arrived at her friend's house at 11.30 here. And she left her friend's house at 1 p.m. So in that time period, you can either write... Well, actually, I was about to say 1.5 hours. Not that that's wrong, but because of the fact that the question stipulates it in minutes, we would actually need to write it as 90 minutes. Part 2. How far is it from our friend's house to the shopping centre? So our friend's house is here. The shopping centre is all the way up there. So how far from our friend's house to the shopping centre is going to be that distance there? So it's going to be the difference between 45 and 20, giving us 25 kilometers. We're told that Leah stayed at the shopping center for a total of one and a half hours. We are then told that she drove home and she arrived at home at 4.30, at 16.30. So on our picture, that 16.30 is going to be here. She arrives back home, because home is where she started on the um, x-axis or on the t-axis technically so we have this point here that we're going to end up drawing a line to later um, we were given a time period of one and a half hours so from this point here we're going to have one and a half hours or we're going to have 90 minutes to the right so what we can do here is just indicate where we're starting from which is there each of these little gaps is 15 minutes, so we're basically going to jump six along, four, five, six, which means that when we leave the shopping center, or should I say when Leah leaves the shopping center, is here. So we have this horizontal line connecting the two of them, and after that, we have a straight line that connects here to here, and that is our completed distance time graph.